Hello frogs, dogs, and logs. Welcome to the introduction to architectural rendering presentation. In this presentation we will discuss what is architectural rendering, why are renderings important, styles of rendering, types of rendering, how can you create effective renderings, as well as what exactly you're going to learn in this course. So let's start with what exactly is architectural rendering? Well, it is the art of creating 2D or 3D visualizations of a future design. It's a necessary tool for communicating your designs to clients. And what it does for clients is it reveals the quality of the space. It's a chance to really review it, to envision how the space is going to look and function once it is built. And I think also it's important to understand that this is an opportunity to invite a client to approve or disapprove of any of the design elements shown in your visualization. So that is the process of critiquing. So why are these things so important to our field? Well, renderings can resemble a photograph, which is the most recognizable form of visual communication. You know how they say a picture speaks a thousand words? Well, it definitely does in design. When clients can see the space and understand the designer's plans, they are much less likely to make changes later in the project. And let me tell you, your goal as a designer is to get your clients sold on your designs as quickly as possible. Renderings also give clients a, a confidence to approve the designs because they understand the picture without needing a whole lot of explanation. They can see what's happening in your design and they don't need to have lots of details kind of spelled out to them. It's like an automatic understanding of what's happening in the space. And furthermore, I think perhaps the most important aspects of rendering for designers and architects is that renderings are how you actually sell your designs and your services to the client. It's also important to understand that how we present renderings and ourselves as designers is as important as the rendering themselves. You also want to brand your presentations to enhance your designs and also to highlight you as the designer. You want to come across as a trustworthy authority on your designs and what the client needs. So have you ever bought a car? And have you ever tried to get sold by somebody like him? Yeah, it's not so much fun. You don't feel like he's an authority. You feel like he's out to get you. He doesn't know the cars like he probably should. It's just, it's not a pleasant opportunity as a client to try to get sold on something by a person who represents themselves and their cars the way that this gentleman does. It is super important that any time that you are working with a client that you understand your product, you understand how to speak to people, and you understand clients needs so that you can give them what they're looking for. So when it comes to renderings, um, it's important to know some of the styles that are available to you. So of course, there's hand-drawn 2D, just like you see in this picture. Um, very simple, it can be elegant, um, but quick renders. Computerized two-dimensional drawings as well, so using software programs like Photoshop, Illustrator, um, even SketchUp and whatnot. There's also 3D models that you can create in terms of rendering. So that can be either through a computer program or it can be a built model like that you use out of foam core or wood. You can also 3D print models these days. It's pretty fancy what we can do with 3D printers. One of the upcoming ways to present your renderings is through virtual reality or video walkthroughs. And this method is a really effective way. It takes time, however, to create a virtual reality or video walkthrough, but it allows the client to actually experience the space as you move through it. So it's a pretty cool way to get your designs across to the client. And of course, you can use a hybrid or combination of any of these to do any type of style of rendering. 
Now style is different from type, so there are a few different types of renderings. So there's conceptual sketches, so those are um, basically quick sketches to aid the development of a design concept. It's something that you're just trying to get your idea out, you're trying to present it, it's in nowhere finished or ready to um, be presented as finished, it's just how to get your imagination and your concept and your research out onto paper. There's architectural or interior renderings, which the goal for those is to show a more finished and exact rendition of a space and all of its elements. So it's representing what the final product is actually going to be, whereas a concept is what it could be, how to develop it, it's a place to start. The third type is the marketing renderings, and these are designed to entice a future client to enlist the services of the designer or architect. So it could potentially be a previous project that you've already completed and have drawings for, but maybe they're trying to get a little bit more abstract with their designs that they're trying to do with the space. And so a marketing rendering is your chance to really express what can you do, what can you show the client that's really going to bring them in and say, hey, that designer is exactly what I need for my project. So how can you create effective renderings? Well, uh, you definitely always want to try to use exact materials, finishes, and products when you can. It can be a little bit difficult to do this digitally as not all furniture is modeled by the companies that you're trying to go through, but the idea is that you don't want to perhaps put in a sofa that looks completely unlike a sofa that your client is actually looking to purchase. You want to try and find things that match as close as possible to what the client is looking for in their space. If you have approximations that are off, sometimes some clients even a little off, it can create confusion in them or it can create a dissatisfaction and they won't buy into your designs. So it's super important to try and use exact materials, finishes, products, colors, lighting fixtures, everything to help the client visualize what the space is going to look like. You want to adopt basic principles of photography as well. So that includes mood. What colors are you using? What's your lighting like? Textures. What's your design style? What's the concept of the space? These things tie into the emotional needs of the client and so it's super important to tap into the mood of your space. Staging. This is super important. Have you ever gone to a model home? and had no furniture or accessories inside of it? Yeah, probably not. Because accessories make a space come alive. It makes it feel lived in, it makes it feel used, and that's the connection that you need to create for your clients. Also, adding people into your drawings is another way to really have the client connect to your pictures. Composition, the rule of thirds, straight verticals, the type of perspective that you're using. We're going to go through all of that. So what you're going to learn in this course is how to create effective conceptual and interior renderings using digital software and some hand rendering techniques. How to add mood, staging, and composition into your renderings. We're going to learn how to present yourself, your designs, and your renderings to your clients. I call this finding your voice. And what is beautiful about this class is that each and every single one of you has a voice. And we want that voice to be heard, and it's going to be different from everybody else in your class. So if you feel like your voice is different, that's a good thing. Think of singers. They're known for their voices. Certain songs go well with certain voices. It's the same concept for designers. We're going to find your voice in this class. And then the last thing we're going to do is learn how to research and apply design concepts and theories in order to communicate your concepts visually. So there's a lot happening in this course and I'm very excited to help you develop your voice understand the power of renderings as a designer. It's um, key to creating that connection to your client and it's also key to how to market yourself.